Remember iron-on patches? They used to be really popular. Well, I'm bringing them back. Iron-on patches that are parodies of famous brands using your favorite famous monster things. Check it out, noggin.net. Iron them onto things, or just collect them, because they're really cool. It's real string and stuff. Oh, Chatot. One of the few Pokemon banned just for being itself. Wah, poor little bird. But I mean, the move Shatter was pretty complicated, and with the whole, you know, being able to make a Chatot say whatever you want. <laughs> it was a cool feature, but the problem is most people would just have it say profanities and racial slurs. So, uh, can't risk that at a tournament. Therefore, Chatot was banned. And apparently, I was super boring with my Chatot because I was a goody two shoes little twerp back during the day, and my Chatot just said, Hello, I'm a bird! I'm serious. It was sad. I was so innocent growing up. I couldn't come up with anything more clever than that. Look at me now. <laughs> but what did you guys make your birds say? Let me know down in the comments while the intro plays. Hope that was long enough for ya. Okay, so in today's episode, we're going to talk about this dex entry for Chatot. Its tongue is just like a human's. As a result, it can cleverly mimic human speech. Uh huh. That dex entry never really set right with me. Like, a human tongue? In a bird? First up, ew. Just imagine a bird with a big ol' human liquor sticking out. <laughs> Secondly, I don't think that's how parrots work. I mean, normal parrots that talk in the real world don't have human tongues, so why would a Chadot need a human tongue? Actually, let's dig deep into this. How do parrots even work? Alright, but first, before we get into that, I have a fun tale for you. I think, I think it's my dad that told it to me. When my dad was in his youth, he worked at a, as a furniture delivery guy, and at one point he was delivering some furniture to a preacher that lived in a church basement. And the guy had like an 80 year old parrot that would just yell, Praise Jesus! Rawr! Hallelujah! Rawr! And that's funny to me. But back to the topic at hand, real parrots don't have flexible mouths and vocal cords like we do. So learning how to speak human language can be challenging for our feathered friends. What parrots do have, though, is a structure called a syrinx, which is similar to the larynx at the top of the trachea in humans. This syrinx, which is located in the chest at the bottom of the trachea, can be used to speak human words along with many other sounds. So, as the parrot attempts to use speech, the sound passes through the throat and mouth and is manipulated by the tongue. Ah oh, yes, the tongue! That little fleshy, sexy tentacle that always moves around in your mouth, and as long as you're aware of its existence, you'll never find a comfortable spot for it to rest. Fun fact! Did you know that the primary language you speak changes where your tongue is most comfortable resting? Makes sense, as different languages use different sounds more often, changing the result of the location. Neat! So here's another question. Why do parrots even mimic human speech? Well, there's also the Pokedex entry of, it mimics the cries of other Pokemon to trick them into thinking it's one of them. This way, they won't attack it. And this is actually pretty spot on. Well, in terms of fighting monsters that fit into a small ball in your pocket. You see, parrots are very... very... really social animals. They need to flock to survive, much like people really need other people for their mental health. The reason that they even make noise is to essentially talk or relay information to each other in the flock. To quote some bird scientists, a single bird in the wild is a dead bird. It can't look for food and look for predators at the same time. So when you, a human, adopts a bird into your own home or flock, it needs to pick up on the language. It just so happens that birds have super special parts in their brain to mimic most sounds. I mean, have you ever heard a funny noise and then tried to recreate it with your mouth? I'm sure we've all made a raspberry to mimic a fart. Come on, we're all human here. <laughs> Birds, especially parrots, are just able to mimic really complex noises like our languages. And some are actually able to put connections to the words, like pretty bird is when it's getting praise. So when it wants praise, or it wants to praise you, it will repeat it. 
Oh, pretty bird, pretty bird. You give Polly a cracker while saying cracker, it will eventually associate the sound of the word cracker with it getting fed a cracker. So it will start saying cracker when it wants one. Wow, Perry wants a cracker. Perry, that's supposed to be Polly. Perry also works. It's pretty apparent now that parrots are super smart, especially for a bird. They ain't bird-brained at all. So, they have a fancy voice box, but, uh, Chadot apparently is all about its tongue. So we've got some more explaining to do. How would a human tongue help this bird talk like a human? Because really, human speech is pretty complex. I mean, we have the whole respiratory system to power our voice box, and then that sends air vibrations through our esophagus, and then that is modulated by our tongue to get the correct sounds out of our mouths. The lips play a big part too. The biology of phonics is complicated. And clearly then, this is where the human tongue in particular is great. We may not have the biggest, strongest, or longest of tongues, but hot dang are we dexterous with them when it comes to speech and other things. And a good thing too, it's super important. I mean, even middle tongue deformities can render your speech completely different. And those people who get tongue modifications, oh man, do they sound different before and after. How the tongue works is that, well actually, here, let's do an example. Try and say, go, but really slowly and focus on the G. Go, go, g -g -g -g. See how your tongue balls up in the back of your mouth? Now try to say, K. K, K. Tongue does the same thing. Now try and say both of them, but with your tongue unmoving and flat at the bottom of your mouth. Go. G g g g g k k it's hard. It's hard, right? Don't turn that into a gif, please. <laughs> Ultimately, you just end up saying O oh, or A. A! Thus, the tongue is definitely a needed tool to facilitate the perfect letters that we use. And it's not just English. Every language has complex movements of the tongue to change the exact way the air vibrates out of your mouth. So you could say that without a tongue, you would be silent. Which is why in the olden days of yore, the kings or priests that wanted to shut you up with your criminal blasphemy would cut out your tongue, rendering you basically mute. Now back to parrots, they actually do have very nimble tongues as well, and this small fact, along with their very complex voice box, is really the true reason they are able to mimic human speech. In fact, humans and parrots are the only animals to have tongues as advanced as this at all, though humans are still way more advanced than a parrot. Humans have a bit more of a production chain when it comes to sound, as we have it go through the vocal tract, which filters the vocal cord sounds to help create our phonics. It was actually thought that parrots just used their syrinx to make phonics by default, but their tongue is the one that helps create the more vowel-y sounding sound specifically. Is vowel a word? Hmm. Probably not. But again, the nimbleness of their tongue is quite good. However, tongue alone is not what makes human words sound. Don't forget your lips. I mean, pee. Piper is such a lippy word, yet we hear parrots say pretty bird all the time. Pretty bird. Those are some lippy moves. And that is where their super cool syrinxes come into play. So Chadot could really have a tongue that's exactly the same as a human, but all that would do is give it a wee bit more flexibility in terms of speech. And without lips, that tongue won't even help that much. In fact, it may actually hinder its love for eating bugs and seeds because of all of the humanness of it. You know, bird tongues are all stiff on purpose because it has to devour bugs and seeds. If it had a soft, fleshy human tongue, then ouch for one and ew for two. Realistically, Chadot would need the crazy syrinx that parrots have to do what it do. And it probably does. I mean, <laughs> It's a parrot. But explaining what a syrinx is may have been too complicated for kids. I guess. So they just said human tongue and went with that. I suppose this is another instance of the Pokedex... Not technically being wrong. But it could have gone into more detail. Because... 
if you only took the Pokedex into consideration here, it's probably wrong because that's not enough to do what it do. All right, Pokedex is written by kids for kids. This is the old theory. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little look into Chadot's interesting world. And hey, next time you hear a bird speak, just realize that it only wants to be in the flock. It loves you, or at least it wants to love you, and that's why it's mimicking you. I remember one news story years ago about a parrot that escaped, and when they found it again, like a year later, it spoke Spanish instead of English. As it turns out, it flew away, and then a Spanish-speaking couple had been taking care of it after it just flew next to their house. It only took like a year for it to pick up Spanish. Fun. Anyways, as always, never stop using your noggin, and I look forward to those comments. What did your chatot say? Hopefully nothing flag-worthy.